सहनावतु सहनावनक्तु सहबीव्यम करवावहै समस्त दि शास्त्र से वी आर highly stupid because you need happiness but we are doing everything to prevent it all that you are doing is avoiding the happiness that is in you that is yourself is covering it through all your efforts supposing i like this class physical class second time i like physical class because in zoom class who will give me coffee yes. his tea right so naturally i like physical class i can see people i can hug people i can see their reactions right i depend on this now 3 years i couldn't do this because of our dear friend covid who did so much good to the society how many people have become self reliant because of covid they have completely become independent of several things right and now if i am dependent on this i am miserable there sitting in my room 3 years not going out anywhere right and probably in that worry itself i may gain my freedom from life if i depend on that so what is the source of my sorrow was covid remaining in the room no it's my value for the physical class is this physical class so important is the class at all so important there are about 7 8 6 7 here on the screen there may be about 20 20 people 30 people like this imagine there are 10 classes going on in the city right now or 15 20 classes 500 people sitting in vedanta class you think they are the only happy people in in the whole of chennai in about 70 lakhs others are more happier than you okay so to imagine i get happiness through the class is one more bondage you have taken on yourself 
one more bondage you have taken on yourself. So all that we have developed a value for ourselves makes dependent on that, makes us expect it in time. So when you expect something in time, you are now missing the present moment because your mind is in the future. The happiness you are searching is in the present moment. Where will you get it? Because you are avoiding it. How will you get it? Where will you get it? When your mind is in the future. Right? And without these expectations, without these joys, known joys, is there something every day you are experiencing in sleep? Can there be a substitute for the joy of the sleep for anybody? You are given free seven-star hotel by the government of India. Says we are experimenting. You have to help us six months. Come, come. Radha, Anand, Ayyo. Vango, 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 vango. Yeah, come, come, come. See, I depend on some people to come and for my happiness. So till then the class doesn't take off. Right? I see Prabhu, I am thrilled. I see Radha, I am thrilled. Right? I see Dalita, I am depressed. <laughs> Dude, this is all you have to learn. Nothing in this world is real. What you say one minute, you will change it next minute. <laughs> Don't depend on anything in this world, including God. Including God. Nobody has let down anybody like God letting down people. <laughs> Especially Krishna. Those innocent gopi girls, he plays the flute, they run. And he tells them all dharma. It's not right that you have deserted your homes and come here. You have deserted your children. Left off your husbands. This is all adharma. Who is teaching? Krishna. Right? So how do you depend on that man? How do you depend on him? How do you depend on him? Sorry, Avurda, what is it? Dharma, what is it? Example, what is it? Sri Ramachandra Prabhu. Avur Sodra Sita Magita, Unaka and I go in the Sunda Podola, Yenudi Maria the Kapa the Kirtikaga one there, Unukanga Vadamo in the book. In the dialogue of Pudia Krishna Vande, Rukmanegita. Same dialogue he repeats in Bhagavata 10.16. He says, I fought your brothers and all got you because they were against me. I want to show them my power. Right? So I got it to save my honor. And I am a fellow who was hiding in the ocean because of fear of somebody. I come from a low caste. You are all kings. I don't have anything. I am a shepherd. So, Rukmani, you want to go back, live with them, you can live. <laughs> what cruelty. Huh? How do you depend on these gods? <laughs> How do you depend on these gods? Hmm? So therefore, all the joys that you think give you joys are the very source of your sorrow. This must be reflected by you and made, make your own. Otherwise, it's only pleasant to hear rhetoric. It's not rhetoric. 
this is the truth. At 82, I know what I'm talking. Right? The, this is the truth. All that you have a value for giving you joy is the very source of sorrow. Right? Therefore, there are no two things, joy and sorrow. That is why in Bhagavata it says, these people go from sorrow to sorrow. They don't say, they go from joy to sorrow. From sorrow to sorrow. In another place it says, death to death. Because sorrow, death, they are all same depending on who you eat. When you depend on the finite world, what you experience is the finite nature, which is mortality. Which is mortality. So, you go from sorrow to sorrow, you go from death to death. Since listening to you, I'm ஜாய் எக்ஸ்பெக்டிங் something to happen something will happen when you are expecting that means it's not there now it will come in time what comes in time has to be finite has to be finite how do you get infinite happiness through finite things what you want is infinite happiness where you are searching is in finite experiences and the very search prevents this covers this happiness that's already you that's already you i know some people because sanjay is there i want to talk his topic somebody was chinmaya mission very big people was being pushed into the operation theater very thought in the very this thing they died heart attack my brother was in the hospital eventually he died also but he went to scan and i told him scan is clear right he laughingly tells me either way it is all right either way it's all right so this is a, what is this mind your mind it is your mind what is that i am sorry i told you 10 classes katopanishad i have calculated and the way in which i am going it will only take 14 classes all of you have to excuse me those who are not ready please decide for yourself this is the mahima of this seat you do you decide something bhagavan talks to you right so it's in your mind this joy and sorrow the joy and sorrow belongs to the mind whatever belongs to the mind is not true whatever belongs to the mind is not true why what is mind it's experiencing duality is mind with a remove duality from the mind joy sorrow good bad past present future god and man remove all that there is no mind duality is mind what is duality how can the infinite how can the infinite split itself how can the infinite create anything because where is the space to create where is the raw material to create he alone is there 
So the so-called creation is only an appearance, like in our dream. Example also is there. How something which is not there is experienced by me. Your dream. Your dream. How are you experiencing? What is the dream experience? Mind. So what is mind? It sees things that are not there as though they are there. And therefore, the same mind is called Maya. Agatita Gatana Patiyasi Maya. That which makes as though real, though it is not real. Right? And you depend on this mind for your joys and sorrows. Oh, without that, then where is the happiness? Your sleep. I, I, I started that example. In between, I left it. Supposing government of India says, we want somebody to exper experiment. One year, you be in seven-star hotel, this thing. Whatever you want, you enjoy. We will pay for it. But you should not sleep. The poorest man on the road, will he accept it? He won't because he cannot be without sleep. He can be without a five-star hotel. He can be without several things. But he cannot be without sleep for maximum more than if he is a big uh, yogi or necessity. Few days. Sometimes necessity makes people not sleep for a few days. That's all. Beyond that, it's not possible. Why? It is sleep. That is the very basis of your life. Why? That is yourself. You have to go back there, charge yourself, come back. You have to go back to sleep, charge yourself, come back. This is exactly death also. You have to go back there, charge yourself, come back. Right? So this death and sorrow are complete false data. Number one statement. False data. Because if something is there, and before me, I experience it. If I didn't, don't experience, science says what you don't experience is not real. Have you met somebody who has, who has seen death, who has met death? No. They said near death experience. That is near death. It's not death. Near death experience. Right? If it is there, you should experience. Have you experienced, anybody experienced death? It's not there. Not only that, what do you mean death? Body is there still. What is dead? Body is still there. That means something else which made the body live is not there. That you don't know. And you are thinking this body is real. Therefore, you say it's dead. Because you think the body is real, body is not active, you say it's dead. If body is real, it's not dead. Therefore, something in the body was there, which was real, which made the body act. And that you are not seeing. You are not seeing. And according to science, nothing can be created nor destroyed. So this life also cannot be created nor destroyed. Nothing loses its nature. Nothing loses its nature. You are an Atma, sorry, Atma pattern. You want hot ice cream, you can't get it. You can't get it. You will only get cold ice cream. You can't get cold fire. Nothing loses its nature. So life also cannot lose its nature. So life is also immortal. Because what is life? How do you say something is life? Because it exists. Therefore, life and existence are not two different things. 
can something that exists become non-existent? Your science doesn't accept. Matter and energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Therefore, they always exist. And therefore, existence means life. Therefore, life is there all the time. Body is there, he is not living. Life you are not seen, you say dead. Right? Therefore, death is a confusion of identity. Confusion of identity. You feel you are the body, you experience death. You feel you are the body, you, you experience sorrow. In fact, all sorrows are sorrows because you feel that before death you are going to miss something. If you feel you are going to be eternal, you don't mind some sorrows. I've other before. You won't mind if you feel you are eternal. And you feel many of the sorrows will lead you to death. So, ultimate of sorrow is death, which is a confusion. Which is a confusion. Therefore, what you need to go beyond death and sorrow is not your money, is not your erudition, is not your power, is not your people, is knowledge. Because the problem belongs to the ignorance, ego, identity, wrong identity. What you need is knowledge. And therefore, the Upanishads that give you this knowledge. All along I've been talking negatively about the world and the body, the experiences, the joys and sorrows. Some people take it to the extreme, therefore, they don't find this ultimate. You ignore the body, you cannot find the ultimate. You have to maintain the body properly. You ignore your mind, you can't find the ultimate. All these are necessary. I have a palace in Himalayas because it should be difficult to reach. That's why it said Himalayas. I have a palace in Himalayas, in about 50 acres. And because Himalayas, all the people that are there, my help, are all Apsarasas, Gandharvas. Right? All Apsarasas and Gandharvas. But I am an ordinary man. I have no power. I have to go there. I need a good vehicle. If I ignore the vehicle, I can't go. I need a good road. If I ignore the road, I cannot go. But when I go there, I have to leave the car and the road. I have to leave the car and the road. Similarly, without taking care of the body, mind or intellect, you cannot reach spiritual height. And when you go there, you have to leave this. Without a clean room, clean bed, Mosquito repeller, fan. And in this weather, you need fan also, you need four way also. You can't stop anything. Fan, you stop, mosquitoes will be terrible. You don't have a four way, you, you cannot sleep in the thing. You need all. But when you sleep, you have to leave all. You can't remember any one of them. You can't remember any one of them. So, people to ignore the material world will not gain spiritual experience. It's necessary. Abhyudaya, this is called Abhyudaya, progressive. Abhyudaya, progressive. You have to take care of that. This body is a temple given by God. It is holy. Do not have contempt for the world. Do not have contempt for the body. But know all of them are means and all of them are expressions of God. All of them are means, all of them are expressions of God. So where do you see God? Whatever you are seeing is God. Where do you go to see God? Whatever you are seeing is God. Where do you go to see God? This is the message I got in Tapo and Puti. Because everybody said, people get messages in, uh, when you go there. 
I was wondering what message I will get. I saw some people playing cricket on Ganges in Uttarkashi, standing before the home. The message comes to me. You are going to Kapali Pumbil, that's uh, as good as Kailash. It's the same here, it's the same there. There's no difference. But <laughs> again, again, I have to caution. Uh, are they to be condemned? No. Certain atmosphere, certain environment creates in you a climate that takes you nearer the consciousness. Like the bed and all that doesn't give you sleep. Mm -hmm. But without them, you can't sleep. Bed and all comforts doesn't give you sleep. Without them, you cannot sleep. For Vedanta, you need Vairagya. Where will you get Vairagya without family then? Right God is not unintelligent. So an enquiry into death is a must if you have to live happily because what everybody needs is happiness, deathlessness. And these are confusions. They have to be resolved. Therefore, an enquiry into happiness and death. That is the subject matter of all Upanishads. And all our books started with this topic, Gita. Arjuna sees death everywhere. Mm -hmm. Bhagavata, Parikish death. Mm -hmm. Ramayana, Valmiki sees hunter hunting a bird and the bird dies and poetry comes. Right? Therefore, this is the beginning of evolution. When you see death, you want to go beyond death and you start searching and you reach deathlessness. Right? So therefore, God is not unintelligent to create this world and himself coming in the form of the world. Create the world, himself coming in the form of the world. And you despise the world, you despise God. You despise pain, you despise God. You despise humility, sorry, uh, humiliation, you despise God. All are his forms. Yatra yatra mano madhiyam tatra tatra tavasvarupam. Wherever my mind is there, there is your form. Yatra yatra shiro madhiyam tatra tatra padadvayam te. Wherever my head is, there are your feet. I don't have to go anywhere. In fact, some Maharshi writes, I think Vesa, I, don't, I didn't see the verse by himself, therefore I am saying some, but I think it is Vesa. After doing everything, he says, I have done three apacharas, God forgive me. You who have no form, I have given you a form. Right? Whom you, whom you cannot describe, I have tried to describe you. You who, who are the all pervading, start telling. Tirdas and Chetras and all that. Right? But you need them. You need them. They are like uh, what they catalysts. They do their job and then leave. They do their job and then leave. So do not despise. Somebody is doing, you know, very crude puja. Do not say, what oh, stupid fellow, you don't say. Whatever you talk. Recently, Modi said this yesterday. He talked about somebody. When they said something about it, they are saying about themselves. Very simple. This is my famous uh, proverb. When Peter talks about Paul, he talks more about Peter than Paul. So when you call somebody stupid, you are only expressing your ignorance because evolved people, saints, God doesn't see anything to be different from being divine. There's nothing undivine in this world other than your own mind. 
there is nothing undivine in this world other than your own mind. So from today, from this second, whatever you feel is undivine, should be rejected, who you have contempt, tell yourself, I need correction. Tell yourself, I need correction. This is called acceptance. This is called surrender. Surrendering your mind, your preferences, your likes and dislikes, accepting all as God is called surrender. This is called liberation. Liberating yourself from your prejudices. Liberating yourself from your prejudices. When does it happen? After I master 11 Gitas with Shankara Bhashya, after I master Siddhanta Kaumudi, right? after I master Brahma Sutras, Gita, Hede, <laughs> because Shastra Upanishad, Mundaka Upanishad says they are all secondary. <laughs> You know? Vidya, what is Apara Vidya? Dve Vidya, Vedita Vidya. Para Aparata. Look, Yajus, Sama, Adharva, Shiksha, Kalpa, Vyakaranam, Chandaha, Jyotisham, all this Apara Vidya, secondary. What is Vidya? Yaya, Tat, Akshara, Madhagam, Mati. By which you go beyond the letter. Then you go through all these. No, no, I, if I go through only, I will know because you said earlier, some you had to, for this you don't need. Your guru shows, you are not the body, you are not the mind, you are not the intellect because you see the body, you see the mind, you see the intellect, what you see is not yourself, you see a dog, you are not the dog, you want to have is not yourself, you have a dog, you are not the dog. Then what is it? By which you see the body, you see the mind, you see the intellect, by which you see the dog, that is you. A little sitting in a corner, contemplating 10 minutes, you get it. You don't need all that. Oh, you are now saying too much. I didn't say. Shankara says that. In Vek Chodam. Shabda Jalam Maharanyam Chitta Brahmana Karanyam. Shankara says. Nate Pare Tatwe Shastra Adhistu Nishpala. Agnate Pare Tatwe Shastra Adhistu Nishpala. Shankara says. I didn't see. Right? So therefore, all that you have to know is sit in a corner, contemplate. Bhagavan did it, Ramana Bhagavan. Try to feel what is there. And he got it. Ramana Bhagavan didn't read any Upanishad. Ramana Bhagavan read, read, didn't read Bhashya. Then what? Whatever he said was Bhashya. Whatever he said was an Upanishad. Because experience. Whatever he said was an Upanishad. Whatever he said is a Bhashya. Know that and then blabber, that becomes a Upanishad. Without knowing that, you talk all sorts of things, rubbish. So therefore, knowledge is important. Where do you get this knowledge? One who has gone beyond death only can talk. One who is in the death, how can you talk beyond death? Something beyond death. How can one in the poverty speak of the luxuries of the queen or king of England in poverty? He has to rise at least above to see that. So who can talk about death? One who has gone beyond it. Who has gone beyond it? Master of death. Who is master of death? Yamadal Maharaja. Yamadharma Raja. Therefore, he is the teacher then, who sees things beyond death, experiences. Shrutriya Brahmanista. Yamadharma Raja. Who is a student? Please, when I'm sitting here, it's Gurudev's grace, I become inspired and talk in an inspired way. Don't be carried by my words. You have to reflect on each one of them. Though I try to 
seem to be you know emotional inspirational but every word is important every word is important nothing was said to get applause you have to think for yourself if you think for yourself one sentence is enough one class is enough see how many people dropped out of the classes because they got it right so all these have to be thought about it take 10 minutes if you seriously think about it otherwise 10 lives you will still be nahi nahi rakhte to dukk nahi karna you will be going on talking that but you don't know what it is nahi nahi rakhte dukk nahi karna go on talking but you don't know what it means gurudev has told a beautiful story in uh, 16 narington road when we bought that building to children you should see that experience how that god talks to children children he tells a story about parroting these words children what a lovely way the mother bird and the father bird when they went for hunting food for the children they said told them parrots parrots hunter will come the spread is nest Don't go, parrots, parrots. Hunter will come, spread the nest. Don't go. And then what did they do? Mother and father went. Hunter spread the nest. They were repeating. Hey, parrots, parrots. Hunter will come, spread the nest, and get into the nest. Repeating. This is what we are doing. Nahi nahi rechne do kling karni for number of lives. so what is i am again deviating but i don't mind because necessary what is joy what is happiness when you drop the concept of sorrow when you drop the concept of joy you are in bliss when you drop the concept of death when you drop the concept of birth you are in immortality think please think is this concept that are covering is this concept that are covering right so therefore who can be the student one who doesn't repeat 10 lives nahi nahi rakhte to dukkring karna parrots parrots the hunter will come who doesn't repeat this is the student how he is sincere to himself This is what I started the class with the first sentence. Shastra say you are all stupid. You are not sincere to yourself. You must seek your happiness. You must be selfish. Shastra says that you must be selfish. You are not selfish. Most is selfless fellow because you always live the life of the body. You always live the life of mind. You are always live the life of the intellect. You always live the life of the family members society clubs never do you live your life what a great man you are shastra says stupid fellow live your life that's called swatantra living others life is called paratantra you understand so therefore one who is serious about his welfare one who is serious about his welfare has the tenacity of purpose has the faith that there is something there has the faith that he will reach there has the faith that the teacher talks all sense has the faith this is the only thing i want right when i put there in the last uh, few days back those who believe that god also please don't come to my classes those who believe that god only come to my class i thought everybody will go only ultimately i will remain but numbers are increasing i never could dream this new geeta class 
I didn't expect more than Shankaram because it started only for him. Right? And uh, two others came, three I thought is too much for me. I have three times Krishna's audience. But today I find 41 people. Then, that means what? Even after my that insinuation, they are serious about this. Otherwise, their ego would have said, who is this fellow to talk to that? They are not bothered about that. Their ego didn't prevent them. I didn't mind them dropping out because they will drop out. They do not need this now. So I was strong. But they or even better. That is called Shraddha. The capacity, the earnestness to understand the teacher's words and Shastra's words. Shastrasya Guru Vakyasya Satya Buddhi Avadharana. That's called Shraddha. Shastrasya Guru Vakyasya Satya Buddhi Avadharana. Guru can never speak which is not true. Guru can never speak, which is not true. Oh, does he know all grammar, all things? God, won't he speak sometimes? At least there's some mistake. No, God protects him. God protects him. He need not know. He may make a mistake. God makes it all right. God makes it all right. God protects him. So therefore, Guru can never go wrong. You must have this faith. And when you have that faith, what happens? Because you should un you should uh, analyze that word, the capacity to understand. How is it connected with Shraddha? Shraddha is translated as faith. How faith is connected with understanding? Because once you have that faith only, your whole mind is available to listen, to analyze. To listen and to analyze, your whole mind is available. Then you understand. If you have, don't have that faith, you cannot understand. You can't understand. That's called Shraddha. And therefore, Nachiketas. Shraddha Avivesha. That's the introduction of Nachiketas. Who is Nachiketas? Shraddha Avivesha. Shraddha entered into him. So, teacher is one who is seen beyond death. Student is one who wants to reach there and has the enough inclination to go there. And when you are ready, all pervading God, who is there everywhere, takes the form of a guru, appears before you the moment you are ready. You don't have to go. This is the experience of all masters. Experience of all masters. When you are ready there, you don't have to go in search of a guru. Guru comes in some form, Maybe in WhatsApp, it says, come. You go to cinema. For what? To come to Guru. Don't get a ticket, come there. Many people, that's why it's called Cinema Ananda. <laughs> <laughs> Many people. Right? So that is the dialogue between the teacher and the talk. And now, so this is, you see, whatever I said, two, third class, still I am in only introducing the guru and the student. You mean to say this is not necessary. Unless you are sure about the Sishya's character, you will not imbibe that. Without that, you won't get the benefit. The whole of first chapter, is dedicated to develop the character of Nachiketas. It's not that the Kata Maharshi indulged like me in words. No, that's necessary for you to know what is Nachiketas and for you to develop those qualities. You want Krishna's experience. You don't know Krishna, how will you get him? You have at least a vague idea of Gopi. Become a Gopi, you will get Krishna. You want deathlessness. How will you get it? Become Nachiketas, you will get it. Mm 
right? So now we'll go to the text. We done last week, and then we tried. Somebody has to tell me the time because I have, yeah, fifteen minutes. I don't mind slow because now today I have taken extension from you. I said no 10 classes, 14 classes. It's See, you should not say something because you have to see. But something is there to be said. You should not also leave it not being said. So time does not matter. And what is time? Kala. What is Kala? Death. Yama. <laughs> Trying to live in Kala, want to go beyond Kala, not possible. Mm -hmm. So, Vushan have a Vadas Shravadha Sarva Vedasam Tatu, Tasya Hanachiketa Putra Asa. Nachiketa's translation is that which you have not suspected. It's called Nachiketa's. You never suspected there is something in you which triggers your interest in spirituality. Suddenly, when you are mature, it drops up. And therefore, it's called Nachiketas. When you are mature, what do you mean by mature? When the intellect has analyzed enough of the world and said enough is enough. That's called maturity. That's called maturity. When you are ready for that, then that Shraddha, Props from you, and that is not fitness. Ushan Hawaii, desire as of what? All along you've been telling desire is the source of your sorrow because you have a desire, then you have expectations, then you, you miss the present, and therefore you become dependent sorrow. And now you start with the very word desire in the open term. How will you get moksha without desire for moksha? Mm -hmm. What, how, what is the definition of your mokchu? Moktu miksha mumukshuttum. Moktu miksha, desire to be liberated. It's like medicine. Medicine is foreign to your body. Disease is foreign to your body. Disease, something foreign has entered your system. And to cure that, you, you put one more foreign thing. This foreign thing, along with the uh, original foreign thing, comes out, makes you clean. So this desire to be liberated removes all other desires, then that disappears. How? Want to sleep means what? Withdraw from everything. Withdraw from TV. Withdraw from phone, withdraw from WhatsApp. I don't withdraw. Even in my <laughs> dreams, WhatsApp only comes. Right? Withdraw from everything. I want to sleep. One thought. With thoughts, can you sleep? So, mind also, you withdraw. I want to sleep. This I want to sleep has put off all other thoughts. Ultimately, when you were prepared to sleep, that thought also disappears. So all desires are not bad. Desire to free yourself from all limitations, from death, sorrow, are not bad. Desire to serve God in all forms is not bad. Desire to serve God in all forms is not bad. So it's not that all desires are bad. Therefore, Vushan Hawaii. Why Vushan? Because he is doing that only to get over that. That very ritual, Vishwaji. And therefore, that's not a bad desire. Vushan Hawaii, Vajasravasa, son of Vajasravas. Vajasravas, who has become famous by giving food in charity. That is, religion starts with extroverted uh, rituals. Doing punya karma first. Give charity. Give charity. Help others. That will slowly lead you, purifies the mind, subtler and subtler pursuits, and ultimately you come to spirituality. 
So, Bhushan Nahavai was a Shravasas. His grandfather was famous by giving food. Father is seeking heaven. Son is wanting to go beyond that. So, these are not necessarily three people. Three stages of the same person also. Mm -hmm. Vajasraha, Sarvasa, Sarva Vedasam Dadav. He is supposed to give up. Vedasam Dadav means he gave up. But when you follow the story, he is supposed to give, but he gives only as a token. Godana Gaga Uruba. Yangakaratra Uruba. Probably people will keep under rupees. But Rindu Unada, the Uruba and the Nuruba Unada. Because go cost 50,000. And you are putting there 100 rupees. Buddha Natagaga Nuruba. Manda go to Edipo to Mata. Would pity Manda go to Nuruba. Right? So, Sarva Veda Sandalu is supposed to give, but he gives some token. And what token? Which is a burden to him, he is giving. Because the cows cannot drink one more drop of water, cannot eat one more blade of grass. What are the cows? Pito the ka, dukta, the jagda dumaha, dukta doha, nirindriyaha, ananda namate lokaha, tan sagachasi, tadada. One who gives all this in charity does not get any happiness out of that. He did say he will get sorrow. Ananda, there is no happiness in that. There is no happiness in that. Bahunam and, and then what are the, the boy educators? Tamma Kumaram Santam Dakshinasu Niyamanasu Shraddha Avivesha. When these are distributed in him, Shraddha entered, Natikatas. And he said, Pito the car, Dubda, all that he said. And then he thought, Father is supposed to give everything best. He is giving token. My father will not get the best. My son's duty is to save my father from perils. That's why he's called a putra. He is supposed, I am supposed to save him. He should give everything. How can I tell him? I will do one thing. He is supposed to give me also because everything. On, on his own, he will not give. He will also give 100 rupees for that. Putradana, right? He won't give. And he needs my permission also. He cannot give like Pandavas gave Draupadi. Right? So I will go and ask my father, make him feel free. Daddy, daddy, whom are you going to give me? Because I should also be given. So, Sahova Chapitaram, Tata, Tata. Grandfather is Tata. Father is Tata. Son is Tata in Sanskrit. Why? All the same. Bhagavan only in giving, in coming as grandfather, father, father. All Tata. Right? Why? Because ultimately, for everyone, you have to say Tata. Tata. Kasmai Maam Dasiti. Whom are you giving me? Father said, what stupid fellow is asking? Child, he ignored. He didn't leave. Dithiyam, trithiyam, tamho vacha. Second time, third time. Daddy, whom are you giving me? Whom are you giving me? What do you do at that time? You get angry. What happened? Same thing he said. Put away, Tom Dadami. I am giving you to Mrutyu. Boy didn't take it light. Oh, time is there. I can do it. Uh, even if it takes it just five minutes, it's worth it because I have to progress. Otherwise, you were, you are going to suffer next week hearing the same. Right? So, in your kindness to you, I should progress somewhere. So, the boy didn't take it. Father said in anger, we will do that. He said in anger, he is not serious. So I don't have to worry. I don't have to go. He didn't. On the contrary, he starts contemplating. Bahuna me me pratamaha, bahuna me me madhyamaha, kinsvidyamasya kattavyasya yanmayadya karishyati. 
why did daddy gave me to death? And what is he going to do with me, say, five-year-old boy? Why dad gave? What is he going to do? And why dad was angry? I was never the third. That is three types of children, three types of students. Mm -hmm. One, who even without teacher telling, understand what he wants and do. That is people who know that I want them to read Gurudev's commentary. I want them to listen to Gita 365, Upanishad daily, Vedanta daily, Upanishad uh, day and Vedanta. I, I, I want them. They do even without my telling because they know that I depend only on God, Guru. They do. Some people do when I say, what is my luck? Nobody does even after I say. <laughs> right? So that is the third type. First type, even before telling, they know and do. Second type, after telling, you do. Third type, even after telling, you don't do. Three types of students, students three types of children. He says, I have always been the first. Bahuna me pradama. Many instances I was first. I knew what daddy was. Even now, that's it. I, 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 I thought of God. Dad is perfect. That's why I'm offering. Bahuna me pradama. Bahuna me madhyama. Sometimes I might have not thought daddy said I did. But never was I third. Right? Bahuna me madhyama. Kim sadhya yamasya maya. What Yama will do with me? Additional burden for him to maintain me. What is he going to do? Start contemplating. Right? And then the next is the best. When you get such challenges, all of us get such challenges in life, freely given by all the way. Lord, why? Is he sad? Is? No. You are depending on the world. Your dependence should go. He has to hammer you. Take up all the dross from you. While he hammers, all dross, dross comes out and he shines. So he gives you all those experiences. Whenever you are suffering most, you must understand he is giving you priority. Truth. Gurudev wrote to me. Once several were sent up once, once I, uh, some problems I expressed. Congratulate yourself. He has taken so much of interest in you. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't get them. Otherwise, you won't get them. This is the sentence Gurudev said. Right? Congratulate yourself. So, can you go through what Krishna went through? Imagine all of us will think. Whatever life, when we die, we should die peacefully. Krishna, all his children, grandchildren killed each other and he himself was shot by uh, the, this thing. Rama, don't talk about Rama. <laughs> Poor man. Ultimately, disappear means respectfully telling committed suicide. Disappeared. Lakshmana disappeared, Rama disappeared. Sitama disappeared. Right? Gods. So where are you going to get relief from them who could not escape them? So life is not meant for that. Life is not meant to escape pain. Life is meant to go through that. Happily go through that, you will enjoy. Happily go through that. Any discipline you take happily, you will enjoy. If somebody thirsts on you, you don't enjoy. Happily, cheerfully take it as his prasad. So he's telling his dad, when you are in this crisis, see, in this crisis, how our predecessors have behaved. How did they behave with this type of corruption? And then think of others. Anupasya yatha purve. Think of those poor way. Ancestors, how did they be? Pratipashya, 
yatha apare and observe those people and observe the others who are doing who who are meeting their challenges in this way right past present past present past you think of what rama did what krishna did present when you have a crisis what will you do i don't have rama krishna i will think what mitra and you will do if he does this it must be good right i always have a, you know really speaking 50 years i used to think i if i can become like kashi then i am there you know kashi was one of the old secretaries if i become like this i will be there if i like become like metranandji i will be there this is the art stick i used to guy never used to keep have yard sticks which i can't reach you understand so anupashya tha purve pratipashya tha apare see the present ones satyam eva martya pashyate satyam eva ajayate punaha like calm they die in that moment and next moment they grow same thing you die this minute next minute you are born is life worth compromising on this fleeting things you said something and now you want to compromise is this is to dad suggestion you said go go and anger i i i i must go do not compromise dad i said in anger no life is not worth it after all whoever is born has to die and what is death both on the other side both are same death of the caterpillar is the birth of the butterfly death of childhood is the birth of youth said the greatest of masters swami chinmayananda right so death is birth they are not two different things so dad don't compromise send me and he goes there and what happens he goes there we will see next week hey narayan ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णात पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम थैंक यू ऑल गॉड ब्लेस यू हरि ओम हरि ओम मंगल थैंक यू मंगल हरि ओम हरि ओम मंगल यू कुड सम ऑफ टाइम टाइम Yes, such a busy man. Too many people.